So the point P is equidistant from A 1 comma 3, B minus 3 comma 5 and C 5 comma minus 1. Then the length of PA. Since the point P is equidistant to all the three points, so let us consider the point P be some H comma K. So that PA is equal to PB is equal to PC. Or else we can also write PA square is equal to PB square is equal to PC square. Okay. So that is what is PA square from the point P to the point P H comma K to 1 comma 3. We can write it as H minus 1 whole square plus K minus 3 whole square is same as H plus 3 whole square plus K minus 5 whole square is same as H minus 5 whole square plus K plus 1 whole square is same. Okay, now let us equate two two uh, expressions here. H minus one whole square plus k minus three whole square is equal to h plus three whole square plus k minus two whole square. So which implies here h square plus one minus two h plus k square plus nine minus six k is equal to h square plus 9 plus 6h plus k square plus 25 minus 10k. So we can cancel here h square k square h square k square and we can write the remaining expressions remaining terms as minus 2h here plus 6h. Let us consider to take to other side 6h plus 2h is 8h and here minus 10k and plus 6k that comes minus 4k and is equal to so 9 plus 1 10 so 9 9 also can cancel the same number and here 1 and here 25 1 minus 25 comes here minus 24 okay or you can also take common here 4 so 2h minus k is equal to minus 6 so this is one equation And now let us consider these two expressions. So we can get h plus 3 whole square plus k minus 5 whole square is equal to h minus 5 whole square plus k plus 1 whole square. So which implies h square plus 6h plus 9 plus k square plus 25 minus 10k is equal to h square plus 25 minus 10h plus k square plus 2k plus 1. So I can cancel the terms here h square h square and k square k square terms gets cancelled and here 6h minus 10h will come that's a 16h and minus 10k minus 2k will get here minus 12k which equals to here 25 plus 1 26 26 here 25 25 gets cancelled and here 1 minus 9 comes minus 8 so again here also you can take out 4 common so i can write 4h minus 3k is equal to minus 2 so we got the second equation 4h minus 3k is equal to minus 2 so taking these two equations as consideration, so let us solve these two equations. So first equation if I can multiply with 2, it comes here 4h minus 2k is equal to minus 12. And the second equation 4h minus 3k is equal to minus 2. And if I do the subtraction, so 4h gets cancelled. So minus 2 plus 3 comes here 1k is equal to so minus 12 plus 2 comes here minus 10. So we got k is equal to minus 10. And substitute k is equal to minus 10 in the equation 2h minus k is equal to minus 6. So we get 2h plus 10 is equal to minus 6. Or 2h is equal to minus 16. Or h is equal to minus 8. So we got the value point p is h comma k is equal to point minus 8 comma minus 10.
and since the question asked about the length PA so now we can take the point P minus 8 comma minus 10 and A is the point given to us so A is a point 1 comma 3 so let me write 1 comma 3 so let's find the distance PA is equal to at the root of minus 8 minus 1 9 minus 9 whole square that comes 81 plus minus 10 minus 3 minus 13 whole square that's 169 so here 214 plus 1, 250 160 plus 240 240 plus 10 250 you are getting so 250 is nothing but 5 root 10 so the length of PA is nothing but 5 root 10 units okay this is the answer